Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword with me, Choco Billy. So I accidentally just walked out of the Poke Center and this happened, so here we are. Uh, this is a lady, I don't know. They are truly under his spell. <laughs> I like it. I like it when he's uh in his casuals. He looks a little bit tubby and uh, a little unrefined, if I'm being honest. Maybe I'm just being mean. Oleana. Yeah, if this is his secretary, then he's totes the bad dude. Uh, it doesn't even remember who you are. You are of no consequence, bead. Bidet. I don't know. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Also, look at those heels. They go on for days. Hello. Relying on me, are you? Well, excuse me. Good lord. Alright. So, <laughs> I like the little sign at the top. Oh, alright then, Jesus. No. No good at all. Uh, maybe. Ooh, incense. Interesting. Water. What, two waters? What's the point of that? Yeah. Uh, rock, psychic. Oh, yeah, then you got all these other ones. That's nice. Hmm. So use that with payday and you're making money. I have never cooked alongside a friend. I used to do cooking classes in high school, but uh, I wouldn't ever say after that I've cooked with a friend. The concept seems a bit strange to me, to be honest. Um, these will be useful in some regard, I'm sure, but to what end, I'm not sure at the moment. Well, there's the market. The seaside market. Yeah, that's actually quite a common thing, I think, about it in the UK. A lot of seaside towns have their, I guess, fish markets. <gasps> An item. But it's an X tack. A sh shell bell? That was a shell bell. An item to be held by a Pokemon. The holder restores the little HP every time it inflicts damage on others. Nice. Does that work in conjunction with things like um Pin Missile, where it's like if you do five attacks, it heals five times as well? Or what about rap, where it's like every time you're dealing damage anyway? Probably not. That'd be I wouldn't say we overpowered, but it would be too good. Yeah, what a nice little little house we have here. No, no, can't. That clock, if that is a clock, doesn't have any hands. Diggy dig. I don't know why. Like even in this place, I just the sheer amount of clutter. I call it clutter, I mean like the decoration, so the radiator and the bin with the bottle hanging out and the picture top. I, I like it. It's not hard to do, like the ass just get the assets, plonk them down, but yes, yeah, so and I appreciate the uh, sentiment, I guess. What you got to say, Grandma? <laughs> Even though they are, is literally copy and pasted in every single house.
Ya madem. You know, a nice bluesy tune going on as well. Actually, probably less likely to, because they'll be able to see you out the water and then be like, that's a person trying to catch me. Or just get spooked by you. That's why a lot of fishermen wear camo. It's hard to see through the water. Swirl. Well, that's not creepy if I just walked into The Shining. Where? I want to find it. Can I find it? I bet it's a ditto. A ditto or a rotom, probably in the TV. Where is it? I want to find it. I mean, you can't tease me like that. And one last ooh, item. Cool, I like me some full heals. I prefer them over other items. Oh yeah, now that I've defeated the first gym, I can also get buy great balls and super potions. That's nice. Huh. So something I found out about this game after reviewing the Pokedex is a very sad and depressing fact. Uh, in this game, the Galarian variant of Corsola is now a ghost type. And apparently its Pokedex entry mentions the uh, climate change and pollution of the oceans has bleached it so it is now dead. And it has a evolution called Cursola. And that, it, it's like its face is just so sad. And it just it's just so depressing to look at. Yeah, don't screw with our planet, guys. Cute. Garso. Is that, is that what a, a whooper sounds like? Garso. Ah, <laughs> oh, train station. Is there a train line here? I just realised I'm literally talking to every single person. You didn't really need to watch this. So I apologise, but... Hey, I'm sure there might have been something of interest. Maybe you just like seeing that sort of thing. I don't know. Sit down. Yeah. Okay, let's stand back up. Oh, the next speeds. Oh, well, they can be sold for like a grand and a half. Yeah, cool. Hello. Yes. I wouldn't know, I haven't played that game. But cool they mention it. I, uh. Yeah? Yeah, simulating battles in your mind, good idea. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Alright, let's, let's just get this over with and do this gym. This better not just be talk. I hope it actually is a bit of a challenge. What the hell? What on earth is that? Said to have protected the lighthouse. Hmm. Hey! Electroweb? Why, that's a move. That's a move that a particular Pokemon might be able to learn. Seriously? Can't learn it? <laughs> what moves can it learn? <sighs> also, is that Nessa there? Hey. Ooh. Oh, 
I don't learn anything from it, I just have to look at your picture. I don't have a fishing rod on it. Alright then. Alright, this will be interesting to see how this one goes. Oh, there's a man up there. Can't go anymore, I don't think. No. Can I go behind? Is there more items hidden away? No, of course not. Oh, desk. Down by the bay. There are items. Netballs. Cool. Useful for catching Pokemon. Or is it water type and bug type? Or Pokemon you find with your net. Fishing rod even. Anyway. Enough side tracking. Gym time. Hey, bull guy. Nettles? A lure ball. Okay. Don't know if you heard that, but my Google uh, assistant just started chatting to me for some reason. Anyway, um. <laughs> okay, I thought that's why he... <laughs> I like his dance. He's so happy and excited. Do you think that's actually his head? You should probably see a doctor do. I thought that's what a netball did. To be fair, I didn't read the description of the netball. I think netball might just be water and bug type. challenge as well as a physical one, even though the physical one is still mental, but I guess technically the mental one can also be physical. Did I just say anything for points? Like, poison in form. I do like the, uh, where is it, psychic. That's just cool. It is funky. Bug one isn't nearly as interesting. But yeah. Yes, I am. Show on the road. If I can talk to the person. Thank you, my dear. Man, that electro web would be really nice or better. I know. It's fine. I'm fine. Don't need you to coddle me. Alright, water gym. Go. Ah, yes. It's, uh... I forget his name, but... Hello, old chap. That's what I imagine this voice to be. Anyway. Ah. Switches from the looks of it. Yeah, different colored pipes. What's this, Mario? on with you. Alright, first and foremost, battle time. Yeah, this will be interesting. It's not going to be fantastic for my uh, Scorch Peed, or Sizzler Peed, whatever it's called, I'll never remember. Timpole is Water Ground? Oh, there goes my uh, Titan Matchup. To admit, I'm not entirely sure what nuzzle uh, pound is. Uh, round. I'll get it right in a moment, I promise. Do I have any ethers? Because I'm probably going to need them. This is going to be like my only viable move. Don't you dare. 
Come on! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's a fairy type move. I think. Cool. Ah. Desk bump. <laughs> oh my god! Give me your money. And what have we here? Ah, yes. A switch puzzle. A simple logic test, which I am bound to make a fool of myself over. I see what you're trying to do, game. I won't fall for it. Well, maybe I will, but I haven't fallen for it yet. What are you looking at? I'm like right in front of you. All right, Heather. Oh, Krabby. That's nice and easy. I can deal with a Krabby. Well, I say that. <laughs> I think I can deal with a Krabby. Well, oh, oh, that hits every turn. That's just mean. Doesn't do much damage, though, so it's fine. Again, I should definitely be healing up, but... I'm a risk taker. Alright. Yeah, we need to heal this time. <laughs> Even with flail. Nope. Yay, lots more super potions. Okay. One I thought maybe the game had a uh, frozen. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. I forgot that was still gonna hit me. Ugh. Six damage? That is just unacceptable. Is that his only move? I wonder if Whirlpool will be the move that I get from the trainer at the end. So we got what? Uh, magic Leaf? Or is it Magical Leaf? Magic Leaves! Something about magic and leaves. Yay, Tingle! Oh yeah, also renamed Toxel Tingle. I went through a whole different variety of names I want to name it, but ultimately Tingle just because it gives you a tingling sensation when you touch it. And I like Tingle from the Zelda games. Corfish! Ah, someone's fond of their crustaceans. You know what, the sheer amount of damage I'm doing, even with it being super effective, I might as well be using poison. Bubble beam? No. No. Actually did a fair amount of damage. Yeah, still gonna do it. I'm gonna regret it. Because I know damn well it's not gonna become. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah! Yeah! And I should have been using poison all along. Acid. When I was a small child, when I first started playing the Pokemon games, so about seven, eight. So not really that small. I always thought the word acid was pronounced exceed. I have no idea why. I never heard it. There's very much a case of saying it over being told it. Saying it through reading rather than being told it. I wasn't a smart child. Use up the remainder of our normal potions. Alright, so that is that.
So we need the blue ones, and that one up above us is yellow. And these two are yellow as well, so it means we then... Um, okay, so we're probably coming through the middle. We've got a blue one, that means we're going to come up this way, so... Okay. Alright, so get us over with. Yes, I came to you. I didn't wait for you to... Just swing your head around. Gramoraid, yeah. The gun Pokemon. There's some from the, uh... What was that? Discovered prototype. I think it was from maybe a games convention or something. Um, from many years ago. I don't like that. Um, and Remoraid and Octillery's design were meant to feature or be more representative of a gun. So you can kind of tell, like, if you look at Remoraid, his bottom fin would be like the grip and the trigger like kind of at the top of its fin. And the top fin wasn't even there. They only added that in to make it more fish-like, I guess. And then Octillery would look just more like a tank, so its kind of tentacles would be rolled up more to resemble wheels or a caterpillar track. Psybeam? Psybeam? Why the hell is it no Psybeam? Thank god that wasn't a crit. I got lucky there. Ooh. I had no idea remember I could learn soybean. Uh, food for thought. But that's how you how you win battles by having weird move matchups or move typings with your Pokemon. Shootle. No, let's keep this going. It evolves into mm, Dreadnought. Something like that, I can't remember. Dreadnought, even. The likelihood of it being able to take me. I <laughs> just. I'm, I'm too much of a risk taker. Uh, people underestimate the. Underestimate the. Words. Wow, that's nice. People underestimate. A sure thing. Wow, nice. Uh, so having that certainty on board is always nice. Ah! But... No. Down. Yes. Thank you. But I'd like to push it. I feel, I feel like I can predict reasonably well what's going to happen. Like a Remoraid using Sio Beam. Of course I saw that coming. I mean, how could I not? You know that? I could have predicted. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> I shouldn't have used that move, because I bet that's not going to do enough to kill. Whew. So, you know, there's being a risk taken, and it's not planning <laughs> what you're doing. Ooh. Coil. I don't know what coil does. Poison. These calls up and concentrates. This raises its attack and defense stats as well as its accuracy. Interesting. Attack, defense, and accuracy. That's crazy. I really like having smoke screen, but having coil. Having two together would be fantastic. Like smoke screen them a couple of times, then coil a few times, and then just one hit. But then it's like, well, why didn't you just, in those times, you could have attacked? Oh, whatever, I'll give it a bite. Another Kafrisipede is going to be coming out in this uh, gym, for obvious reasons. And that means I can go down here, and then the blue one will then... Yeah, so, I think we're good. Blue one will block off all other exits and entrances. I 
can't go. No, no, of course not. Alright, onwards to Nessa. Probably be a good idea to heal at first. Also, do I have any or any items, equipable items that might be of use? Um but I'll save them. That might be useful. Because it's going to take a lot of hits with Tingle to be able to actually take something out. Um, flying. Hmm. Also, this is going to be interesting, given that I'm not going to be Dynamaxing. I have a feeling it's going to be a bit tougher than previous battles. The type up, the type ups, the type matchups do not favour me. Yes, I'm very much the sort of person. If I lose, I will just reload the save because I'm a child. That wasn't too bad. I like his trainers. I like those trainers. They're cool. Ah, so the... It's not all... They're not all pitches. Like the uh, grass stadium was actually grass. On the field this time it's just... Let's at the bottom of the swimming pool actually. Thank you. Oh, enough of the sass. Let's do this. So much heal. How did we get to heal? <laughs> Literally one HP. Not first this time. Interesting. Is it going to be a? Oh no, agility. You horny bugger. Do I risk it? Because this will go badly. No, I want I want this to actually try and go as smooth as I can. So. Let's not be too much of an ass. As I said before, there's uh Oh, of course, of course. Oh, well, it's actually a bad thing. Um, it's good to not to underestimate a sure thing. Yeah, that agility did you no good, Goldeen. <laughs> right. Why don't you just send out a male Pokemon? That'd be nice. A Rakuda. So, another new one. That's the one that... Is it Crawdaunt? The new bird Pokemon? Uh, spits up. That's gonna Dynamax it, isn't she? Alright, well, whatever. Oh, okay, maybe not. Good 
good. Alright, so it does 21 damage. Okay, so she's saving it for the last one. Yay! Right. Lower the special defense. That, that won't actually make a difference. Because this should kill anyway. Provided I kill him first. Oh, he doesn't kill me first. Oh. Alright. Nice. Dreadnought, here we go. No. I believe in you, Tingle, you can do this. This is going to be more of just a... Oh, so they cheer, or the people in the crowd cheer when it's the final Pokemon, I guess? Am I going to regret it if it would... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, have a bottle of water. Stay hydrated. Yeah, go for it. He's a big boy. Also, something I noticed about uh, the max raid battles is uh, he uses dark moves. I'll gain speed. Um, max raid battles. The all of the Pokemon is loud, like so much louder than the music and sound effects. It started to rain, so my fire moves are going to go down. What a shame. Yes, this is actually what we're doing for the rest, or for the next two turns. Because, unfortunately, we don't stand a chance of taking them out in this state. Yeah, bring it, buddy. Okay. Woo. That rain nearly screwed us. Right, so this should be his last one. Max darkness. Okay. Oh no! Oh! All those items were wasted for nothing. Right, so he's got dark moves. That's not good. I refuse to use Dewey. <laughs> Do I really try to use Confusion Speed? That would be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've always got Blighty to fall back onto, and I do have Max Revives as well, so it should be fair. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there we go. So he's, at least he's back to normal. Look like how small he is after it's, it's crazy. Smoke screen. Oh no, he's going first. Ah! That was like a awesome move. Yeah, okay. Right, let's just let's try this again. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what those types of moves are, like us. They're physical or special. Um, I imagine it'll have bite or crunch. Probably better to go for the reflect. Oh wow! Oh god! Also good. Thank God. Now I'm treating this as though Dewey isn't here, so I really don't want to have to fall back on him. Yep. Oh, thank God for that reflect. 
Now I don't know if he's actually dark type or not. No, he doesn't tell me. I know he's water, but I don't know if he's water dark. So if he's water dark, then that struggle bug would be useful. Well, one way to find out. Can't be on the defense the entire time. But if this doesn't come, I'm still gonna flinch. Ah! <laughs> Fine. Oh. Yes, I realize how bad, how awkward I'm making this for myself. But I 100% refuse to use Dynamax. And I guarantee you, once Tim comes back out, she's going to be able to use Dynamax again. And it will be sad. It doesn't help that Tingle doesn't learn any other moves. Is it male? It's male. Do I really go for the attract? No, let's go for the sure thing. Go ahead, use Razor Shell. Please don't kill me! Uh, damn, he deals so much damage. Oh, wow. Oh, that was with a flex. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be tough. I'm actually gonna have to rely on this tactic now. Thank God. Ironic, because I guess flail and the that shell thing I've got work against each other, don't they? Yep. Oh, okay. Fine. Well, after this episode is finished recording, I'm going to have to go do some serious training. Right, so that's uh, defense and attack. Attack and special attack. Perfect. Who would go first? I imagine Mike. Yeah, Dewey would go first. You can't hurt me. I'm just a little gecko. Yeah, do it, buddy. Okay, that. Okay, it was crit. <laughs> I'm glad that was a crit. I mean, I'm not glad it was a crit, but I'm glad that's how much damage you dealt with a crit. Yay. Just capitalize. Maybe do this one more time after this and then we'll uh Oh beautiful. Sorry, I forget to crit. Awesome. Just think what? What's he thinking about? It said Dewey's thinking about something. I thought I said it thinking about. I thought I said dreaming, but I might have said Dynamax. Um, no. Uh, I need to remind myself. Uh, enables the user to attack first. This move fails if the target is not readying attack. It's got bite. That shell move. I don't recall having any moves that aren't attacks. Well, one way to find out. Okay, good. <laughs> just punching him, he's just headbutting me back. We need to be careful. Otherwise, we legitimately will lose this. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this is such a struggle. Well, it's my own fault for giving me such crappy typings. And the fact that I refuse to use Pokemon outside of the, the ones I want in my team. Yeah. 
going to bind him. It'd be nice to have those additional little bits of damage done every turn. Wow. Did you see how much damage that did? Because I didn't. <laughs> Wow, the actual bind itself did more than the attack. Oh, Water Pulse can cause confusion, can't it? Confuse him. Really? I've been using Sucker Punch this entire time when that's how much damage that... <sighs> well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the fight. That uh, couldn't have gone worse, aside from a loss. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a skilled trainer. Aren't I amazing? <laughs> Strongest member of this gym. That's because you're the gym leader. That's like... That's like a CEO walking around and saying, I'm the highest paid member of uh, that works here. Well, yeah. It's because of your role. <laughs> I guess in this this day I've got determination and uh, tenacity. Yay! Water badge or oh, medallion, almost water chip. Right back to Motorstoke. All right, we've got the um, we've got to go chat to the what's his dude. Yeah, I knew it was Whirlpool. I called it. I called it. I knew it was Whirlpool. Um, now we've got to go chat to Rose and Oleana, whatever her name is, in uh that restaurant. So next episode we'll do that, and then we will traverse uh Galar Mine Two, and make our way back to Motorstoke. I'll see you next episode, guys.